So we just arrived on site at this home in Cranston, Rhode Island, and this homeowner is installing a new 40 gallon water heater. But we're gonna be focusing on the installation and location of a thermal expansion tank for that water heater. So let's run inside the garage and let's get started. So I'm unboxing my Thermex troll, but the first step I want to do before I do anything else is to adjust the air pressure of this expansion tank. So I know the ST5 comes from the factory at 50 PSI, but I don't know what the house water pressure is, and I want to make sure those two numbers are matched. Uh, so the easiest way to figure out what the house water pressure is is to locate a hose spigot. Uh, you can put a gauge on there and you can measure the water pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to head out back and find a hose spigot so we can see what we need to set our Thermex troll precharge to. So now we're in the backyard, we located a hose spigot. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab one of these gauges. It can be found at any local hardware store, but the important piece is gonna have a female hose fitting on there. That way you can thread it right onto the hose spigot and you can measure what your pressure is. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So we have the gauge attached and all you wanna do is open up that hose spigot and we're gonna get a measurement of pressure. So it looked like it peaked a little bit, but we're averaging right around 60 PSI. So that is gonna be our target pressure when we adjust our expansion tank. So let's head back in the garage and get that expansion tank set properly. So since we need to increase the precharge pressure of our expansion tank, first thing that I'm gonna do is locate the air stem, which is right underneath our insight cap, and I'm gonna use a standard compressor to increase the precharge. So we increased our precharge right at 60 PSI, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall my insight cap. Tighten that down. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna grab the turbulator. So our SD5s come with a freshwater turbulator. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that right in the connector. The long end goes in first. I'm just going to press this in, and now let's go ahead and install this tank. Now that the water heater and most of the plumbing has already been completed, the last piece of the puzzle is to install our expansion tank. So I'm going to install my expansion tank right here, which is on the cold water line running into the water heater, as well as the vertical downward orientation, since that is the recommended orientation from the manufacturer. This tank can be installed in other orientations as long as it is supported properly. But I'm going to go ahead and install my expansion tank right now. So now that the system is complete, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my cold water supply to the unit to begin filling up this water heater, and we're ready to go. If you have any questions while you're installing a thermal expansion tank, feel free to give the Amtrol Tech Team a call with the phone number on the screen, or you can visit our website at amtrol.com for more information. Thank you very much for watching.